sat down to have his breakfast. He was tired and looked a sight. His wife smiled across the table and said, was the trip all right? He spread some butter on his toast but didn't take a bite. He looked at her and shrugged and said, just another night. She drummed her fingers on the clock, her knuckles turning white. Said, that's all I ever get from you, just another night. I'd like to know what happens, what you do and who you see. But you just can't be bothered to tell anything to me. He sighed and said, believe me, hun, there's nothing at all to tell. Each night I do the same old run and the bottom would drive you to hell. There's nothing happens on that road that you don't see every day. She smiled and said, well, for a change, tell me anyway. Well, he said, nothing happened from Canberra to Yass, only a car went off a bridge. And the copper tailed me all the way from Downing to Bookham Ridge. There was a pretty bad smash on Steamroller Hill, just where the bad bends start. I used my truck as an anchor till the crane pulled the wrecks apart. I struck a bloke out of Jugion, driving a brand new car. He was going to pass me going downhill, but he didn't try too far. It was touch and go on carbon black, I was running late by then. I took the curves a bit too fast, but I got her back again. They were checking logbooks at Gundy Guy, and lucky mine was right. And a bloke with no lights in the fog came by, and that gave me a bit of a fright. You know, I have to sneak through Tarkata, the police don't like me there. The road was awash at Comatoa Creek, and I started losing there. But the gauge came good by the time I reached the top of aeroplane. And Albrook a possum ran on the road, but he didn't feel no pain. Then I ran straight through to Albury. That road is always clear. Had the changeover had a cup of tea, I'd have rather had a beer. Then on the way back, the buzzer came on. It goes right through your ears. I came home with no trailer brakes, 200 miles on those rotten gears. Hang on a tick, I'm telling lies. Something happened all right. Blue broke out at the depot and George knocked the bloke out like a light. But apart from that, it was pretty dead. The whole road was pretty quiet. See, I wasn't kidding when I said, just another night.